guys, how you doing? It's Art from Arts Model Trains. So when I first planned this video, it was going to be to ask for some help. Um, but over the last week, I've been really lucky and this video has actually turned into an unboxing. So the story behind that is, um, I picked up this Legacy Engine two, three months ago. Uh, it's the first one I've picked up and it was New York Central and my plan all along was to get New York Central passenger cars to go with it. And I found these MTH passenger cars. It's a four pack uh, from 1998 that um, I saw these on eBay. And I asked my wife, you know, can you get them for me for my birthday? And she said, yes. And then I found the two pack add on that went with it. And I asked her to order those at the same time. So we have all the cars in one shot. Well, four pack shows up, no problem. When the two pack showed up, it was the wrong cars. So I was able to work with the seller and return them. But the challenge I had after that was finding the two car add on pack for this set um, that matches was nearly impossible. <laughs> Everywhere I looked, I, was, I wasn't able to find it. And I just happened to be on uh, trains.com the other day and it popped up. So that's how this went from being a call for help until I was gonna ask everybody to help me find the cars to me actually having them now to unbox. Uh, these guys have been out of the box for a couple weeks now. I've only run them a few times, um, but I'll get these out and uh, we'll load them up on the track and run them around. Okay, so let's start by opening these up. This is the first time I've pulled these out of the box actually. So let's see what they look like. So this is the diner car and the combine car to go along with the set. And the original set came with the baggage car, two passenger cars, and the observation car. Uh, these are, as you can tell from the box, um, Rail King. Um, so they're not scale. But what I really liked about them was, and I'm not sure it'll show up on the camera here, is they have fully uh, detailed interiors. And my plan is to get um, some passengers to load in on the uh, inside to give some... Uh, some extra added detail to the cars. I'll try to get a close-up shot of um, of those insides and put that in the video as well. I'll just pull these out and see how these look. All right, so this one's the combine. Actually, should check. Wow, these look like they're in great shape. So this is the the combine. And once again, has the full interior on it. And actually, <clears throat> yeah, I'll give that quick oil before we run it. And let's get the diner car out as well. Yep, so once again, I'll try to get a close up shot of that at some point, but you can see inside there, there's actually little tables and everything. So I'll get some figures. I don't know if they have passenger figures. I don't know if they have figures that are actually eating <laughs> to put in this car, but these look like they're in great shape. Um, the box looks like it has a little bit of water damage on it, but there's no signs of that on any of the cars, which is great. So let me, let me get them oiled up and um, throw some smoke fluid in the train and we'll run it around. So here's a close up of the cars and you can see Inside the combine car, some passenger seats, and then if I move over here to the diner car, you'll see the tables I was talking about, and then obviously in just the passenger seats in the passenger cars. These are my first set of Rail King um, MTH passenger cars, and I was really impressed by the quality. The, they got some good weight to them. They come with the baffles between uh, the cars. They do need to be cleaned a little bit. And if you can see, they're a little bit... Um, looks like the rubber's just been a little like worn and I just have to clean it a little bit, freshen it up. But the cars are really nice. Um, the wheels are a little stiff. I do have to lubricate them and maybe take a few of them and clean them off a little more to get them to roll a little better, but they do look pretty good. The only thing with this um, observation car, I wish these little red lights here lit up. Uh, maybe see if I can figure out how to do that someday with uh, something to add on to. Um, and I, it's going to be fun to add little people into the back here where the seats all kind of face each other at the end of the observation car. I think that's going to look cool. 
Okay, we got the engine all loaded up, um, and let's get it moving around the track a little bit. Dispatcher, am I cleared to the outbound? Over. Need to hold you. Hold me a signal. Out. Okay, so maybe not prototypical, but I pulled out my post-war New York Central growler to run with this train. The gray is pretty close, so let's see how this runs. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a short little video. Uh, great little passenger cars. Um, I was really looking for the detailed interior and the uh, styling. Um, so to me, when I found these, uh, for the price, they were totally worth it. Um, not running scale here, obviously. So to me, it was more about um, just finding the right cars for the right price. Um, I will do another video once I'm able to get people and have them all glued in. Um, but for now, they're, they're great to run around like this. Um, you know, maybe I'll throw them up under the tree for a little while too on that loop. But thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.